Hey guys, welcome back to another Thank Truck is Friday. This week we're going to unbox the new Luxmove Smart TV. See if we can do this on one take. Here we have it then, Luxmove's new 21.5 inch Smart TV designed for vehicles, use in vehicles. That's the key about this thing. It's not just your average television that you buy from a shop, snip the plug off and put in an inverter or plug it in. This thing has been built, designed, tested for use in a vehicle. Um, and it's got all the smart features that you probably have on your, possibly have on your smart TV at home. Um, so I'll go through the specs, then we'll get it out of the box and I'll, I'll show you the product. So as I've already said, it's 21 and a half inch, it's a nice big display, it's a really gorgeous display as well, full LED, it's crystal clear, it actually uses a Samsung panel, um, so you can be sure that the, the quality of the picture and the technology behind it all is top of the range, you know, Samsung are a great, great manufacturer of LED panels and lots of other products. Um, it's genuine 12 and 24 volt, um, it's actually rated from 9 volt to 32 volt, the reason for that is it has a built-in surge protection module. So if you do plug it into your truck or hardwire it into your truck or your vehicle, on a lot of the newer vehicles now, when you start the vehicles, there's a surge of power. So if it's 12 volt, it might peak up at 14, 15 volts. If it's a 24 volt system, they can peak 30, 32 volts. So the whole point and why, why this TV was designed around the vehicle the whole point behind that surge protection is to protect it against, protect the TV against those surges of power. You will find if you buy a, potentially on a regular 12 volt television or a 240 volt TV with a 12 volt transformer, which you can do and you can snip them off and get them powered. When you start the vehicle, that surge can blow the LED panel quite easily or the ECU within the TV. So that's a really key feature of this product and sets it apart from many, many other televisions out there that people use in vehicles. Um, it's fully ECE Reg 10 type approved. Now, okay, to a, to a lot of people that doesn't really matter because you, you might be a driver and you're just buying the TV and plugging it in your truck and the truck's already on the road. But if you're a dealer watching this or someone else within the trade, a bodybuilder, that's really key because this thing here has its own type approval certificate. So if you did want to fit it permanently with a wire and connect it to the vehicle prior to registration, you can add that type of approval onto your other type of approval documents and fit this thing legally prior to registration. It's been through all of the tests for EMC that that, that regulation requires basically and it's a worldwide approval. It's an e, e, ECE, a UN approval. Um, so it's, it's, it's recognized worldwide. Uh, what else have we got? So being a smart TV obviously needs an operating system. It's built on Android. Um, it's built on the latest current version of, of Android and the TV itself can do self updates as well to make sure it has the correct software. But that Android system will mean it feels very familiar. So if you do have a smart TV at home, most smart TVs are built on an Android operating system. So you'll have that familiar feel to what you have at home with scrolling through the various apps and features of the TV. Um, talking of which, preloaded, you have your Netflix, your Disney Plus, your Amazon Prime, you can download from the Android Store, iPlayer, 4OD, pretty much any on-demand service that we're used to here in the UK. And because it's a multilingual, multinational TV, it has support for Hulu and other, other regional um, streaming services, Sky in Germany, for example. All of those you can download from the Android App Store built into the TV. Just be aware that just because you can download it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to use it in the UK because they're IP locked to where your data comes from, basically. Um, so where, how do you access the smart features? That probably rolls on quite nicely as well. You tether it to your phone, or if you have a mobile hotspot of any other kind or a Wi-Fi network that you can connect to, TV has a built-in Wi-Fi module. If you're out on the road and you've got your phone, you just tether it to your phone. You know, most people know how to do that nowadays um, and use your phone's data to stream and watch every platform that you want. Of course, it's still a normal television as well. You can still plug in a regular aerial. It's got Freeview built in, just like you'd expect nowadays. Um, has VHF and UHF frequencies, which basically means it can pick up the maximum number of Freeview channels. 
uh, as long as you have it connected to a free view aerial, obviously. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's Vaser wall mount compatible, so that means it's got the four holes on the back, which means you can mount it. Um, we have developed specific mounts for this television for certain trucks, so we have those available on our website. Or if you choose to do your own thing, then you can do your own thing. The compatibility is there. It does come with a set of mounting legs or stands um, in the box. So and it also ships, I'll show you in a minute, it ships with a cigarette lighter plug as well. So if you are a, are a driver that just wants to, when you're parked up nice and safe, get it out, put it on the dash and plug it in, you can do that as well and then obviously stow it. Um, input wise you've got HDMI which you would expect so you can plug in your games console if you've got one in your truck or a DVD player if you have one. Um, it has a USB in as well, has audio out, it also has um, Bluetooth audio out so you can actually connect the Bluetooth of your truck's audio system to this TV and then you can have the audio of the television play through your truck's um, speaker system so you can have increased quality. Um, it's just got so many features, I'm just rambling here. So let's get out of the box and then I'll probably think of some other things to tell you about it anyway. So, I'm gonna try and unbox this so that you guys can see it as it comes out of the box, but it's quite a big box, so bear with. So when you, well, firstly on top of the box, it's got the fragile notice and then welcome to Smart Entertainment, which is pretty cool. Um, I think people, when they do unboxings, they show you all four sides. So let's do that. This side one, this shows you the television, the size, it's smart, the brand, all that kind of thing, um, and a part number. On this side, so this actually runs through all the different interfaces. There's probably some B-roll a bit closer up so you can see this. Different interfaces where you can plug in and all the devices and the connectivity um, and specifications. And then on this side of the box, it just runs through some of the smart features and you know the Wi-Fi connectivity and all that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, there we go, we've done that. So, we'll slide it out of the box. So that's empty, just got some packaging in there. Get rid of these foam blocks. So clearly you get the television. We'll unwrap that in just a second. And then you also get in this little bag remote control, obviously. The legs for the bottom of the television. And also the screws to attach them. So there is a small amount of self-assembly self self required. I said I was going to do this in one take. See if we can do this in one take. Leave that in. Then we have the 12, 24 volt power cigarette lighter, which you can plug in. That is fused, obviously. If you do want to hardwire it, you can snip that. And then because the surge protection built into the television, just make sure you put an inline fuse and then connect it into the 12 or 24 volt system, whichever one you're going into. Batteries from the remote control, they actually include batteries. And then lastly, the user manual, which tells you how to use your television if you need such a thing. Cool. Then we have the TV. Just get out of this bag. So it comes with a screen protector on the top with the energy rating on there. But we'll take this off. Like so. There's also, I'm not going to take it off because this is an office sample and I don't want to, but there's also another screen protector on here. So when you take it out of the box, if you do buy one, don't think it's just that bit of plastic and then wonder why it might be a bit blurry. Take that off and then you'll get the full crystal clear display that I was just telling you about. Um, so yeah, big display, hardly any bezel. Obviously it's a modern TV, so that's kind of what you would expect. Um, view from the side. The actual screen itself is very thin, I'd say mm, 10 mil maybe. Um, and then obviously there's the module on the back. On the back, we've got the four VASA mount points that you may well be familiar with if you've got a TV at home. There are buttons on the back, so if you don't want to use the remote control, you can have a little bit of limited functionality by using that, along with a master power switch. Um, and then on the side, well the bottom and the side, it's a bit difficult for me to show you on this camera, but the B-roll will show you. You can see there we've got the, the power in, there is a network port, um, your video in, input that you would ex expect, the HDMI sockets, the TV aerial sockets, and then down this side here, you've got your audio out and various other interfaces. And 
I don't know about you guys, but has anyone ever actually used that card slot on the side of a television? Because I haven't. I literally don't even know what it is. CI Plus. No idea. Anyway, it's got it if you need it. Um, so yeah, lovely Luxmo logo at the bottom. Obviously you've got your infrared receiver at the bottom there as well. And um, there is a, so I've told you, there's an on off switch here. And then there's also a master isolator there. Um, now, what I would say is when you, when you turn it off here, it leaves the standby light on the bottom. So if you do hardwire it into your truck, leaving it over the weekend is absolutely fine. That LED is not gonna take hardly any power from your batteries, you'll have zero issues. But say you need to park the truck up for a couple of weeks or you go on a holiday or whatever it might be, just knock that isolator off because then it completely kills all the power to the television and you know full well that TV isn't taking anything out of your batteries. It's just another little safety backup there for, for isolating it, basically. Um, yeah, so that's Lux Move. I'm sure you'll see some lovely fancy B-roll of all of the apps and everything. You might have already seen that all, all, um, already. Um, I'm just going to read the side of this box to make sure I haven't missed anything. Phaser wall mount compatible, we've said that. We've done the type approval, you know it's got the surge protection. Ah, oh, super important thing I've missed. I can't believe I've missed it, it was one of the best features of it. If you have a smartphone that supports screen mirroring, so an iPhone for example, you can mirror the screen of your phone to this TV. So if you have it connected, if you have the TV connected through your phone on the Wi-Fi network and you have an app on your phone, whatever it might be, doesn't really matter, you can mirror it to the television and watch it. Basically, it casts video and audio over the Wi-Fi network and you can use that as almost like a secondary monitor. Um, you know, maybe you've got an iPad or something like that or a tablet, it will do complete screen mirroring. So if you are on the road and catching up on some emails or whatever and you don't want to sit and look at the small tablet screen you could have the keyboard on your tablet and then you could mirror the screen on this should you wish um, obviously that's all subject to whichever smart device you have connected but the tv will support the screen mirroring so uh yeah that's it um this is super cool product something very new there's not anything like this out there in the truck market at the moment and um, I think Luxmove have done a great job of it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, look at our other videos about the big truck giveaway. Maybe the girls can put some pop ups. But get over and if you haven't already, make sure you enter our big truck giveaway competition because we're, we're giving away a truck, a whole truck, and that truck has got so much stuff on it. So, just get over, watch one of the videos, enter the competition, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah. Thank you for watching, we'll see you again soon.